What's up guys? Josh again. Wanted to do a review on the Stanley, uh, and also it's it's a Stanley Reckon bar. So I can't can't remember if it's the food bar or whatever, but um this is the 55, let's see if that focuses, does it like me? 55119 model. But uh thing's about 15 inches long. Uh it's it's a good record bar. I mean it's it does great, but I don't do too much uh framework. But I got this thing because I'm bonkers for uh, multi-use tools. But just got this one. This is a uh, pretty much a Chinese knockoff. Uh got it off from uh, the sportsman's guide. What I saw about it was the crowbar end on there. A more of a true crowbar end. And hey, look at this. What's that? Uh, an actual nail puller or uh, the claw on the back of that thing? Even even with the your your crazy two by four notch, so that one was actually this one was worth me checking out. Also, there's a little magnet here to hold nails. So, what I was wasn't sure about, you know, what I am sure about is, I like the knockoff better. It's a heavier. It is actually a lot heavier. Balance is not any better. I mean, since they put all the weight in the hand, they put a lot of weight in the handle. It's kind of you almost got to choke up in the middle for it to to feel. Um, a nice balance but uh these uh, holes here are supposed to be for uh three quarter to grab it's like a three quarter inch nut that's just a joke honestly i they, they're more or less they're, they're coming up with a better reason to put a to lessen the amount of material on this thing and they claim that's supposed to be for a half inch nut whatever that's a line of bs if you ask me so yeah how, how well do you sell uh lesser metal you know oh let's tell me it's a uh, speed holes <laughs> how about that yeah so this thing been a standard for a long time. I know they got a couple new ones out, but uh, size comparison, it's pretty much the exact same size. That's why I, you know, pretty much wanted to show you guys. I mean, I like I like the new one better just because it actually has a real claw on the end. Is it better cast iron? Probably not. Uh, Stanley, I mean, obviously has a pretty good reputation. Uh, I mean, they're not indestructible, but. I mean, looking at this thing, it's it's got it's more like a real claw hammer. So here, of course, here's another Stanley, uh, you know, standard claw hammer. But would one of these guys replace a regular claw hammer? No. That claw hammer's been uh, pretty much it got that down to, to a that's it's a perfect formula there. It's, it's it's worked. We've built the nation with uh, claw hammers and and we don't use nails anymore. Now it's uh, steel studs and a uh, screw. So. But yeah, it's, I mean, you can never go wrong with, it, with the correct tool. And this thing was designed basically to have a good balance, powers up at the head, it's got a good swing, and, you know, it doesn't kill you because it's actually quite light. But since that powers up at the head, that gives you a nice impact. All right. I'm about to knock all these down just because I'm trying to hold my camera at the same time. This guy. The Stanley's nice. Uh, yeah, I don't like the fact that uh, you got this uh, offset in the head. That actually, uh, I mean, I'd like to, you can't, you can't hammer up against, into corners. I mean, you talk about a 90, you know, trying to get into a tight corner. Let's see if I can scooch that over. And where's my uh, speed square? Here we are. You are now going to be technically, it's about a good uh, three-eighths of an inch away from the wall. So what good does that do me if I got to get into a tight corner? That is absolutely useless to me. All right, how about uh, let's even compare that to the old old school hammer. Let's see if I can get that guy to stand up. All right, balance it just right. Wow, look at that. Now you could certainly get into tight corners. Why not? Let's check out the sportsman's guide. That's not bad. I'm digging the sportsman's guide one. Hell, why not? That thing's uh, they got a better they did a better design. Hands down, it's just better. Now, this guy, actually holding it, she actually has a decent enough balance. I mean, they, they, they cut out, I'm sure underneath all this rubber is a very skinny piece of cast that goes all the way down to the pry end. So that's why I wouldn't trust how strong it is, you know, prying. Uh, the thing is a, kind of a multi-use tool, but it is not a true pry bar. Again, get the right tool for the job. If you need a pry bar, go get a freaking pry bar. Uh, but it actually does have, the the weight is more up at the head, uh, just giving you a little better strike and balance in your hand. Um, this guy again, this weight is Jesus, that thing just it weighs a ton. 
man, I, you know, I, I wish I had a scale right now because it's just, it's actually, it's uncomfortable to hold this thing. Um, but it's not as, I mean, for swinging wise, I mean, she's just a big honking chunk. I might as well, I uh, feel like I should just have a solid rod in my hand. I don't know. It's just, but again, if uh, somebody told me, Josh, you got one hammer you need to choose for the end of the world, I'd probably go after this. <laughs> <laughs> I could do a bit more with this thing than I could just a regular uh, regular hammer. But uh, pry bar end. Let's talk about the pry end. So this thing, obviously, there. This one actually works better for a pry bar. You could really get in there. It's still. Yeah, I mean, you could actually pull nails with that pry bar. This guy, it's a little skinnier, goofier. Uh, it works, but. Yeah, you really, you can see the difference in uh, the sweep on that thing. All right. Pulling nails with the pry end. This guy is a very shallow, it's actually not a very good nail puller. Um, I don't care for it. It works. I pretty much, I was just right before I started shooting this video, I was pulling uh, trim nails. Let's get this guy in. All right, good old-fashioned hammer. All right, he's done. I don't think I need to say any more thing, any more about that. But this guy, she'll get in there. She'll pull, as she really will. Uh, it's got a nice, sharp uh, V in there, so it will grab that head. This guy, since it's almost, you got to pull it reversed, i got to pry up on it. Prying up on it, it will pull it. It has pulled it, but I actually, you actually dent your wood really badly just because this the actual edge digs into the wood but it does it, it again get the right tool for the job that's all that's what you should do but um pry on this one wins if you had to break in a break open a pallet i guess or you know skid or this guy will break open a crate so but that grind is horrific and uh, geez that's not even a 45 that's just that's blunt as heck so I do need to regrind that just to make it a true, a little more useful. Uh, claw end. Again, that's a real blunt edge on there. You're not, you're obviously not sliding that into anything delicate. Uh, but that actually pulls nails too. It's actually got a nice fine V, you know, nice fine V in there. Let's focus that. Come on, big boy. Uh, she does not want to focus. There you go. But that will pull just fine. So, between both of these, Stanley and Knockoff, Knockoff wins if I had to choose one tool to take with me. Uh, yeah, just a lot more uses. I don't know if it'll last me any longer. Um, I'm not about to beat bricks or uh, concrete with this thing until it breaks. Yeah, because again, it's not, that is not its true purpose. It's supposed to be, you know, for, you know, grab one tool to, to fix the house. Oh, how well did the jaws work? Okay, we all know this guy works for biting two by fours okay there you go it's a decent enough fit this guy she slides on there but only partial okay that's fine maybe you're not uh, it's actually meant to also be able to grab smaller wood so all right smaller boards whatever i don't think that is as good as as if you actually just had one full notch out yeah, I think one full notch it. I would still be able to grab a one by six easy and just destroy a one by six if I had to. I mean, what's the difference? But again, it's I guess they're just trying to probably add a bit more reinforcement in there just for uh Yeah, that's that's actually probably exactly what it is. <laughs> they needed to put more reinforcement in there, but uh again they're trying to give you to you know give you more uses for it just to sit, just to try to sell you on it. So guys this guy is actually from the Sportsman's Guide. I think it's like $25 or something, uh, plus like another $5 shipping. Give it a shot. Uh, it's actually worth the purchase, I think, if you just want a, you know, one hammer to do everything. A lot better than the Stanley. So, all right, guys. Thanks.